I mean, I really could go home in the ambulance afterwards. That's the level that I take it to, and I intend to take it to, especially in Kona. After I saw you, I had probably the biggest performance of my career in, in Kona, 2017. I was leading the race for 23 miles or so of the run. Uh, I wake up every morning with sweats and uh, nightmares. You know, I have a good sense of what it would feel like to win it, and, and I know I can win it. What is this medal, what year? Oh yeah, this is the medal. The bowl upstairs. I usually eat every meal out of that bowl. This is my best dive. Cheater. The cheater uh, cleans. <clears throat> Legs are tight. It's all good. As hard as you train, you gotta rest just as hard. And now I look like an alien. Am I ever gonna be coming out with uh, Josh Hamburger and Lucy Charles? Probably not. Until I make the front pack, I won't be satisfied. I mean, the big difference between this year and last year is that I'm eating a lot better. I cut meat out, so I haven't eaten meat now in like 14 weeks or something like that. Yesterday's workout was six and a half hours continuous at approximately 1,000 calorie per hour burning, plus a resting rate of, let's say, 3,500 calories. That's like over 10,000 calories that I burned yesterday. Algae? Don't smell it. Plug your nose. I've gotten up to... About, That's nothing. About that much. That's all I can handle. <laughs> you don't realize that you're limiting yourself until you stop limiting yourself and then you realize how much you're limiting yourself. My fear in Kona is one and only one thing and it is getting a flat tire. That's the only thing that I really can't control. Otherwise, I will show up to that race in the best mental and physical form that I can be in. And when the going gets tough and we get to the second half of the run, there's not a doubt in my mind that I can suffer with the best of them. Longest time I was timing flat tire changes. Uh -huh. I'd have a tire, a rim just sitting in the living room, and then all of a sudden it'd be like, flat tire. Yeah. And you had to immediately change a flat tire. Oh. Start to finish, I think I got it down to like oh. under a minute. Yeah. Well, we're gonna be going up the mountain here. I don't know, I just ride around on Swift all day, and when you've been staring at a wall, just riding around with people and the camaraderie and the racing and all that sort of thing, that, that's what I love most about it. I was in a crap place in my life. And that's when Iron Man came into my life. And I saw, first thing was a picture of Craig Alexander winning the 2009 Iron Man World Championship. And I saw that in a basement, you know, nothing to live for really. I think it'd be like the, the cherry on the cake if I could take it from the basement to the very top. This is the moment you train for. This is a moment you live for. So put your money where your mouth is. Show me what you got. Definitely, there's a few things I'm trying to prove. You know, one, I don't know how many times I've heard someone who swims like me could never win Kona. It's absolutely impossible. So that pisses me right off. And then, of course, my running, too. They say the same thing about my running. Someone who looks like that, who runs like that, with such poor run form, there's just no way you could win Kona. So I'd like to prove them wrong. You train by myself a lot of the time. It doesn't change the fact that when I know people can see that I'm training, it takes me to a new level. Was your pace in Ironman? Last year in Kona, I think I averaged like 406s off the bike. I'd like to improve upon that. My best in an Ironman is uh, about 349. Practice, practice, practice. And now we gotta rest up. We got a big round of golf. We're at the, uh, the Little River Golf Course. I'll show him how it's done. If I win, he pays me 20 bucks. She took my shoes out of my bag. I know it. I know they were in there. Too much? She gone. All right, I think I'd like to reduce the bet. That's the problem when you don't warm up. You warm up on the first hole. He's gonna blame it on uh, warm up and or golf shoes. <laughs> you want me to go put my sandals back on? I'm not gonna blame him. He doesn't like to lose. I'm gonna start walking to the road, side of the road because that's about where my ball is. Searching for my ball, searching all day. Don't gloat. I'm still watching a movie tonight. I had one good hole. I had one good hole. Good game. It's always good to end on a good note because then you want to come back. It's all good. It's fun Say nonetheless. What took to win last year is not going to be enough this year. So you can't set your sights on that. You always have to be setting your sights two, three minutes faster. Mentally, I'm not really doing this to win. I'm doing it to achieve my absolute best.